So um, let's look at health from the original language, from um, what Elohim, what is Elohim says that what health is? We know society looks at health from the outside. Sometimes, you know, a lot of people look at it from the outside. If you if you look a certain way, that's how um, they portray you as being a healthy individual. But let's say, let's see what Elohim says what health is. So health is marpe, which is spelled mem, resh, pe, alef. Mem is actually broken down to mem, yud, mem. This means the power of the life-giving spirit of Elohim. Resh is resh, yud, shin. The all-consuming power of the prince ruler, which is Yeshua. Pe is pe aleph, which is to speak the father's word. Aleph is aleph, lamed, pe the strong spoken word of the father. So putting this all together, what does health mean in Hebrew? So it means when we operate in the power of the Holy Spirit, so in our life-giving spirit, which is the Holy Spirit, who resides in our born-again spirit, was given to us through Yeshua, when we speak the strong word of the father over our lives, that's when complete health can take place. So when we operate in our born again spirit, when we speak the strong word of the father over our lives, when we follow the um, commands and be obedient to the things that Elohim is telling us to do in regards to our health, that is what maintains our healthy living. That is what um, brings healing and wholeness when we actually not only speak the word, but obey his commands, obey the things that he is telling us to do. So let's look at health pertaining. Let's look at the law of faith pertaining to health. So before we get into it, I want to share a testimony with you guys. Um, I have a friend who has a daughter. And um, her daughter was diagnosed with a rare genetic disorder. It was called, it's called Huntington's disease. And Huntington's disease usually shows up at uh, older ages um, of individuals. And, but for her, it showed up when she was very, very young. And she went to the hospital and they gave her daughter a prognosis basically telling her that her, doc, her daughter would not live to see past the age of 10. And this was very devastating for her. But what she decided to do was she appreciated the doctors and the nurses for what, you know, for coming up with this diagnosis. Therefore, she knew what to pray for. She knew what to go before the father and lay before the father and speak the word over her child. So instead of operating in belief in what the doctor said, she heard what the doctor said and used that as a, as a guideline to say, hey, this is what's going on with my, my, father, my, my daughter, father, I need your help. So she prayed over her daughter. She spoke the word over her, over her daughter. And um, she followed the instructions of the Holy Spirit. There was one time where she had shared with me that she was in the hospital and her daughter just kept seizing and seizing and seizing. And if anyone out there who knows anything about seizures, that when seizures come back to back, this, is, this can be very, very, very fatal. In the midst of this, she heard the Holy Spirit tell her to have everything stopped, all the medications, everything stopped. This allowed him to operate. So she told them to just stop everything. I can't imagine what that mother felt like in that time or what those nurses and doctors were dealing with at that time. But I know that the Holy Spirit operated because this day, this girl is alive and well and thriving and she is 21 years old. With that being said, that's how the Holy Spirit can operate in every one of our lives. I have, he's, he's done it for me. He's not a respecter of persons, but going back to this and going back to epigenetics, this was a genetic disorder. And everything in her genes, in her genetic makeup, 
said that she would not live past this age. And what we have been told is that if we have a genetic disposition, then it's almost inevitable. It's going to happen, right? Well, when she operated and activated, heard the law of faith and spoke the strong word over her daughter, something happened, something switched, something turned off. How? By the power of the Holy Spirit, act she activated that law which supersede any other law here on earth. And like I said, Elohim is no respecter of person. He's done it for me and he can do it for any of his kingdom citizens who operate in the law of faith, who are able to walk in their born again spirit, not only pray <clears throat> and not only speak, excuse me, and not only speak the strong word, but follow his instructions. So when it's pertaining to health, if you get a diagnosis of high blood pressure, heart disease, do what you have to do. Eat a healthy diet, exercise, do what Elohim is telling you to do, speak the strong word over your body and allow Elohim to have access over your body and that those places and those things will be healed, but become whole by changing the way you think, changing the way you think about the way about the foods that you eat. Like, oh, I want to eat fried chicken. Okay, well, today it's going to be baked. Or you know what, it might just be fish. Or you know what, I might eat a piece of broccoli. Whatever that case may be, but change the way you think and change the way you take care of your body.